And now for our weekly news segment. Okay. Yeah, this week we'll, right. we'll run through the news on our own and then we'll bring up the viewers on stage because it, it, we're realizing it, it just goes on forever if we do news with the viewers as much as I like doing that. So if you're going to jump up on stage, just kind of, you know, remember what the stories were and you, you can bring up your points and discussion points afterwards if you want to uh, comment on any of the news today. But this way we could get through the news and then we'll have uh, viewers on stage. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm slightly preoccupied. There's like so yeah, much. Yeah, he was got a lot going on. I'm talking with people trying to set this thing up in the background. It was like, uh. so better you than me. So, uh, Monero Silver, this is kind of sad. MoneroSilver.com is shutting down. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Monero Silver. It was a cool oh. site created by someone who's known as Monero Silver for <laughs> buying uh, metals for Monero. Uh, but yeah, as he said, the USA is becoming increasingly hostile towards crypto businesses. It's just too much risk for me right now. Maybe I could do something like this again if I ever move to a different country. But for now, the USA is not a friendly place. That's quite a shame. Um, but that kind of shows the state of things, really, is that yes. the USA has become increasingly hostile. And a lot of European countries have become increasingly hostile towards crypto, crypto businesses. Um, and then especially like if you if you don't start implementing all of these KYC AML stuff. They're going to get on you for that, uh, which is really sad. Um, that is sad. Yeah. Yeah. So like this is an example of, you know, maybe we would see people selling, you know, hard metals on XMR Bazaar, for example. Right. Um, sad to see Monero Silver go. Next, we got the Magic Monero Fund. Once your research or development proposals. So they're looking for funding, basically, uh, the Magic Fund, which was created by, partially created by Justin Ehrenhofer. I know he's like on the board of this fund. Uh, oh yeah, here's uh, the current Monero, Magic Monero Fund committee members are Luke Parker, Rectium Monero Bowl, this guy, Call Bear Hugs, and Art Limmer. Uh, I thought Justin Ehrenhofer was a part of this. Yeah, he's definitely part of it. So I guess it's just not listed on here. Um, okay. But yeah, I guess they're looking for funding. So if you want to help that out, then you can totally do that. The Magic Monero uh, Fund is looking for funding? Oh, they're here. looking for research or development proposals. Oh, okay. Sorry, not funding. Looking for research or development proposals. All right. Very I'm cool. looking at all this for the first time. Uh so yeah, if you're, if you're a researcher or developer, check that out. Um, you can make a proposal. You know, it's it's not like the CCS. Um, it's controlled by the Magic Monero Fund, and I guess they'll they'll review proposals and then they they you know reward if they if they think it's uh, worthy. Um, yeah, it's like a separate. Yeah, it's like a separate thing. Yeah, and they're they're an actual nonprofit, so you can yeah they're fully tax deductible. The donations you make are tax deductible. So you want to give that money to a good cause instead of paying you know giving it to a bad cause. And there you go, that's that's right. way to do it. You could donate to the Magic Monero Fund, and it's tax. You get a tax deduction, and then they use that money you donated to to you know give it out to uh, researchers and devs. It's mainly projects like that. Cool. So next we have this tweet by our buddy Intraceable. Bitcoin, this is about Bitcoin not being censorship resistant. Uh, I didn't look through this, so I guess it's just... <laughs> I, I didn't have any time to look at any of this news. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, him talking with some Bitcoin people and uh, debating about it being... Censorship resistant, and like we all know, it's not. And there, there are lots of ways that Bitcoin's already. Yeah, I think censored. it's. Well, what are they referring to here? I don't know well, if you Bitcoin go. Not being censorship resistant is a more accepted fact. Here's a non-exhaustive list of those who couldn't see it. Oh yeah, I think I did see this tweet a while ago, earlier this week actually. So this is him. This is people that are saying Bitcoin will never have trans or censored transactions, right? Bitcoin but what's transactions. The that traceable is referring to? Is it referring to? Mining pools. The mining pools. Mining pool censoring, yep. 
Okay. Because like a lot of the or two of the biggest, I think, what were the statistic again? It was like over sixty percent of Bitcoin hash rate is KYC, something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. Big mining pools in China, they're all KYC. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a very bad precedent for something that's supposed to be censorship resistant and decentralized. Yeah, he called it basically. He called it like several years ago, and people were like very doubtful, but. As long as miners have the ability to see a UTXO history, they can willingly or forcefully censor it. I mean, that's that's all there is to it, really. Right, which Monero does not have that problem. We can't, no. can't see it. I mean, it wasn't really hard to see it, but some people just, I don't know. <laughs> it is yeah, what it is. It's finally becoming a reality. We've been talking about it, you know, yep. for, for years, yep. right? We were, we were called days here. But now it's coming to fruition. Uh, and people are opening up their eyes to it and realizing that, you know, that's the main difference between Bitcoin and, and Monero. One of the and I've got, And then, of course, we've got we've got a few more CBDC articles. Um, I'm going to I'm going to show a couple of the ones that you sent first. If I can open this link. All right. So. Andy hasn't said Bitcoin talk forum bans linking directly or indirectly to mixing services. They are not banning discussion about mixers or about Monero, they say. Let's see if I can open this link. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. The Bitcoin talk forum, which is that's like the original forum for for Bitcoin, oh, right? Cloud flare. Um, there we go. Right. This is like where, where Satoshi was having conversations. Yeah, yeah, this is the OG Bitcoin like yeah, forum basically. And now they've decided to self-censor themselves in terms of having... Well, no, I think they're going to still allow discussion about mixing and stuff, but they don't want anybody posting any links to any... Yeah, mixing. no linking. Just, I mean... But they went out of their way, if you read on the bottom of it. If you, went on, if you read, read his post, uh, the bottom of it, he goes out of his way to mention examples of things... I can't read it because it's small. Examples of things that are not banned. Can you read that, Tux? Uh, right here, bottom definition bottom. of a mixer. Oh, the bottom. Oh, thanks to the things that have not banned. Mixers include exchangers. Unless I have a mixing function. Coin joins supporting non-custodial wallets and Monero. All right. It's right so, there. there it so is, you guys. can still talk about Monero. <laughs> not Bitcoin forum. Have no fear. <laughs> uh, pretty wild that they have to go to this. Uh, I want to see. I'm going to look at. I'm going to read this real quick. Uh, for clarity, here's the definition of what we mean by mixer. Most people know intuitively what a mixer is. Let's read this. Um, Something considered your mixers meets all these requirements. It has a feature advertised for taking property, improving its privacy somehow, and then returning roughly the same type of property. If a site is not primarily a mixer, but has a mixer function, such as a mixer function on a gambling website, then the whole site is considered a mixer. Mm -hmm. If the site takes coins, give you possibly transferable IOUs, could value it back and mix coins much later, then the temporary conversion into a different type of property does not prevent it from being considered a mixer. So anything that just, I mean, yeah, I mean, anything that will mix people's funds together and then give it back to you yeah they say that they don't they don't want to be considered you know a dark net forum right so i guess previously they had removed like references to dark markets things like that places where you can go now they're removing any references to mixing mixers the man got them they're self-centering yeah. censoring yes interesting it's to a say shame but how that yeah. is on the original yeah. Bitcoin forum. All right, pull up the next one here. Monero is what Bitcoin was supposed to be, guys. I mean, it's just it's I mean it's, when you when you look at the history of Bitcoin, yeah, it's just it's impossible to uh to not correlate them. Uh Monero Mateo has a tweet, war on cash in Denmark. Government introduces bill to lower threshold for legal cash payments from 20,000 to 15,000, phasing out 1,000 crone notes due to police concerns and predominant crime use. Yeah, so uh, so Denmark, uh, just like a lot of other countries, cash is getting demonized. And I know in a lot of countries now, you have to give like, they have to like basically do a whole... 20 questions on you if you want to withdraw any of your own cash from your bank account. You have, they have to KYC you again, even though it's your own bank account, just to withdraw your own money. Uh, and a lot of countries 
even if it's over like even if it's like a small amount like even like around a thousand a few thousand dollars that's still too much that's like uh oh alarms going off so yeah if it's if it's in a bank account it's not <laughs> it's not your keys it's not your coins we need to apply that to uh to fiat too so yeah we we say it often you know they can and will eliminate cash but they can't eliminate yep. monero right so we're just seeing further examples of the world moving towards the elimination of cash all all major governments especially you know western governments um they're moving towards eliminating cash so they'll only be digital forms of transacting and as we know here that's why we need something like monero so that we still have the ability to transact with cash yeah uh and next we have this tweet from fluffy pony took me a lot of effort and plenty of experimentation to make this work and ensure that Monero website is accessible in mainland China, despite the CDN origin site being blocked. Big thank you to Atari Labs who paid for this for years. They'll acknowledge or thanks. So I guess normally the, the DNS for Monero is blocked in China. Yeah. The CDN, or, the CDN origin site is being blocked. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure exactly what he did to make this work, uh, but oh, I think he went into detail here. So I guess he's got part of the Monero website now behind a CDN in China just for people who are accessing in China. Which is cool. So now people in China can uh, freely access getmonero.org and get around the great i mean not, not it's not even getting around the great firewall of china it's that it's no longer being blocked because they're using a chinese cdn which a cdn is like um it's like cloudflare it's like cloudflare mm. okay so whatever they were doing before they might not have been even using a cdn uh it was just getting blocked in china but now it's not so, so people long story short people in china can access get monero.org yeah even without a vpn without tor uh looks like it's now accessible on the clear net just freely which is really great that's amazing so good job to you guys for setting that up yeah thank you thank you fluffy right um thank you man as always sweet oh and we got, we got another another banger from untraceable over here apparently <laughs> the nintendo switch gets 230 hashes per second mining so he's installed uh looks like a Linux distro, probably Ubuntu, on his Nintendo Switch. Uh, because the Nintendo Switch is just a, an ARM NVIDIA chip that's actually used in some Android tablets. And Android is Linux, so there's some low-level driver support there. And I've actually... I think I've run, I've run something on my Switch before, back when I had one in high school. I think I put Android on it or something. I'd play... I'd screw around with it. But it looks like he got Ubuntu working, and now he's running... XM rig or just some Monero miner. So <laughs> it gets awesome. 230 hashes per second and the Steam Deck gets 700. <laughs> the Steam Deck's a lot more powerful, of course. Wait, what is that thing? What's the st- I don't even know what that is. The Steam Deck? So, yeah. So you know what Steam is? It's like a, a gaming software. It's like the biggest uh, like software vendor for... Mm-hmm. not. I mean, not vendor, like a store for other people to put their software on. For games right. on the PC... And they made this little portable device called the Steam Deck that runs a bunch of PC games. And it's like like a little thing you can carry around. Yeah. And it runns Linux out of the box. Do you have one? No, I don't. Uh, That's pretty cool. I'm not even a gamer. That's fucking cool. I like that. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just install XMRig or, you know, install Monero, do whatever. And you can just run it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm saying for, for, for playing games though too. Like um Oh yeah, no, it's great. Everyone loves it. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter's into the Switch, but maybe I'll get her into that instead. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Always good to see. Always good to see. Yeah, I wonder if that was on un- I guess that was untraceable that did it. Yeah, it's untraceable. Yep. Yep. That's amazing. I, I this remember one, this one takes a lot more work than the Switch one because the Switch does not run uh this operating system by default obviously all right 
you have to have a special version that's uh that's got an exploit that's exploitable so you can have a payload yeah. It's just so funny, people like the like the one of the main criticisms of Monero, right? Is like it's not scalable, right? People can't run nodes. People can't. Meanwhile, you have people mining from their Nintendo Switch, right? It just shows mining you how. from their car stereo. I don't remember who did like, that one. I, that was Howard. Howard too. <laughs> that was Howard. That's yeah. amazing. I'm like an old school car Come stereo. Think of it. I have a I have this custom car stereo that it very well might run an embedded version of Linux. So that might be uh, maybe it's something to do. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, and I think I think it's just about it. Um, I'll pull up. I'll quickly pull up uh, these CBDC articles. There's always some random CBDC articles every week. All these countries continuing to to push for all this stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, none, your business, none of your business saying now that they'll. Well, shut CDN centralizing easy control. It was an oversight. Now is but, but where it targets. Yeah, CD. Yeah, CDNs are most CDNs are pretty centralized and easy control. Yeah, that's why I don't like Cloudflare. I don't use Cloudflare. And most people don't realize when you use a CDN, you're effectively putting a man in the middle for all of your traffic. So if it's any service that's authenticated, that CDN has the ability whether you know whether they are or not. There's no way to really prove they're not. Uh, they have the ability to basically capture all of that traffic because they're what happens when it goes to a cdn it comes from your browser it's encrypted from your browser to the cdn so it's encrypted from your browser to cloudflare cloudflare then unencrypts the traffic and re-encrypts it back to the server and it both ways around mm -hmm. so and the and that's how all the ddos protection and stuff works like when you've got that screen that comes up that makes you do a captcha because it's cloudflare the only way that works is if they can modify the traffic. And the only way they can modify the web traffic is if they can unencrypt it. So I'm very wary of CDNs, but it's unfortunate some people have to use them due to DDoS issues. Like Blunder.org right. was getting DDoSed like crazy. So, so what we're seeing in China may be quickly, quickly shut down in terms of this access to get Monero that they're... Well, potentially. Providing. It sounds like they got a Chinese CDN, which is going to be a lot more accepting and easy to use but i guess the uh the addresses on cloudflare we're getting we're getting blocked the i the ips to get monero with cloudflare was being blocked or something i don't quite understand the whole issue but anyway so this article solomon islands suramitsu team up for yeah i know bocalo cash cbdc proof of concept so Solomon Items joined tiny island nations worldwide at the forefront of CBDC development. Yay. Another one, another one. Yeah, but they're, they're all yep. doing it. We yep, get, they're yeah. all doing it. Good point. Business Innovation Hub presents its private CBDC project. The Bank for International Settlements project. Turbillion features two eCash prototypes. The first providing... At this point, all the CBDC stuff is kind of just noise. It's just like... Yeah, it's, it's like they're so all... Much of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just... Talking about fiat at that point. Yeah. And then Canada, of course. Digital Canadian dollars fails to impress despite high awareness. People who were aware of CBDCs were more reluctant to adapt to technology when compared to those who didn't know about it. Hmm. Yeah, so Canada was trying to central CBDC and I guess hasn't gone so well for them because people don't care. Yeah, I'm not really buying into this like it's going to fail because people won't be interested in it. The, the point is governments are going to force. Yeah, no, I do believe that's the case that like, like how especially cash is being pulled out of the economy as much as possible. They're not right. letting you use cash. They're going to force you onto your, you know, right. only be able to use Visa and MasterCard, which people already are doing. But what the, the scenario, the nightmare scenario I see here is where they, they work with Visa and MasterCard to then use CBDC with their already existing platforms, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk about all the time. They're gonna push people like with you know, we go you go to do your tax, get get your tax return. Uh, maybe maybe you get you get you get paid out, paid back more if you're willing to accept it in the form of a CBDC, right? Or you want your tax refund? Well, too right. bad. You got to take our coin, our shit coin, or else you can't yeah. get it. <laughs> the, the, that next stimulus check will be in the form of a CBDC, or with, uh, get... yeah, with whatever uh, whatever made up virus comes next. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the news.